few months ago, we made an obsidian knife with our water jet that was extremely sharp. We want to test if petrified wood can beat obsidian because it's a harder material or if obsidian's legendary sharpness reigns supreme. We used some advanced methods we've never tried before to make sure we got the sharpest edge possible. We have here a giant chunk of petrified wood. Now, contrary to Minecraft belief, Obsidian isn't actually that hard. It's only a six on the most scale of hardness. And petrified wood is around a seven to eight, which is almost as hard as sapphire, which is kind of bonkers. On the obsidian knife, Teletna commented, I watched your video and grew really sad because it reminded me of the rock collection I had. Anyways, so that gives us a question. Will a harder material make a sharper, better knife or will obsidian reign supreme because of its perfect structure that allows it to be an incredibly sharp knife? Okay, whoever wrote this here clearly didn't know that that's actually a wasp. What up, dog? First method is we have our petrified wood at an angle because the water jet currently can't angle itself. Not my fault, <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> And we're gonna cut straight down with the water jet along here and that will give us a nice knife edge here. Well, I'll tell you what. No, the problem was the board didn't have enough weight on it. There we go. Well, let's talk about what just happened. The first time this fell and made the water jet cut into there. And so we went to start over and then this came off. So I scooted it forward a little bit so we could get a nicer edge piece. And it broke right here along the seam. And then we continued our cut. So the grain of the wood kind of gave us some trouble. And so let's do it the other direction and see how that turns out. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Bigger hill. Oh. Oh. We were going a little fast at the beginning. We'll blame that on the water jet breaking down. <laughs> yeah, the water jet breaking down really, really chewed at that back part right yeah, there. It wasn't my incompetence. No, no, of course not. It hurts me to see this, Daniel. <laughs> <game. laughs> It's just got too many fractures in it. It breaks very easily. So we're gonna go with this uh, cheese knife shape here. We want a flat blade along the bottom. That way you can spread your butter really good. Yay. Oh, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I am highly satisfied with that result. Okay, we're gonna do it blade side up because it's a lot easier to secure it down that way. And we're gonna come along here along this line and help it give us a nice straight line. Looks oh. like we took off all of the natural edge, but that's okay. Wow. Why don't you demonstrate? Can, can you shave that far? Oh yeah, got that good. <laughs> yep, yep, that was... Razor sharp there. Is this a Manscaped commercial? Do you have scruffy balls? We'll try this before and after we do a real sharpening of it. So we got the classics here. and some pepper jack cheese because- It is a cheese knife after it, all. It is indeed. Looks like it's a little tough. Oh. oh, oh. That was my fault, I'm not a chef. Okay, it looks a little difficult. Let's try a tomato. I purposely got the nastiest ones at the store because we still get comments complaining that we're wasting food. Ah, that's a clean cut. Clean cut. The fact that tomatoes kind of mushy isn't helping, is it? Ah. Well, you definitely have to apply some pressure. <laughs> I really don't like cheese that much. <laughs> mm, all right. Just oh. Simple pressure. 
Okay, okay. And that's, that's how you get such a clean little slice right there. Wow, you know your cheese and your knives. I do know my knives and my cheese. Call me poutine. Poutine. <laughs> I'm going to go sharpen it and see what we can get to. Well, I just spent two hours trying to sand this down on the whetstone and the edge broke off. And so I don't want to do that anymore. Well, seeing as there's no way anyone has made a knife out of petrified wood before because it's the worst thing I've ever tried to work with, I think it's safe to say we could still call it the world's sharpest petrified wood knife. What? I saw this in a toothpaste ad once. Holy crap, you guys, this thing's razor sharp. Look at that paper thin cut. Oh, and the cucumber with ease. You know, there's just nothing that this knife cannot do. Oh, uh, this is the dullest knife I've ever had the displeasure of laying my hands on. So I have a diamond encrusted Dremel tip here that I'm going to try to use to sharpen it. You know, sometimes I don't know why, it doesn't matter how hard I try, but in the end, the fact that I have a diamond encrusted drill bit doesn't even matter. It keeps just breaking. So I think I did a new method. So I was considering coming back and using the whetstone again. And uh, now that it's dry, I see that I smoothed out the whetstone. What I did you say? What? What did you say? Okay, this is our last ditch effort. We have our knife mounted to this block at an angle, and we're gonna try to sharpen it with the water jet because everything else has failed thus far. When you, when you, when you come back to basics, you, uh, you lose the pier. Certainly not as pretty. But it left a very, very sharp edge. Oh, yeah, that's... It's really sharp. Yeah, I could feel like micro serrations. <laughs> Probably like the grain of the wood. All right, here we have some tomatoes that aren't mushy, and we're gonna try again. Oh. Oh. Cuts through quite easily. Okay, okay. Look at that. Hard to control this two-inch knife. It is, but look at that. I mean, it cuts oh, very well. Nice. You know, two inches... Two inches is pretty big. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh, am I watching Chef Ramsay right now? That's. A, I mean, look at that. Now, thin slice if I can. Oh, that's paper thin. Wow. I uh, say that does it. And it even gives you the ridges look. It's like Ruffles, call us up right now. Oh, almost forgot to test out this guy. Okay. Making easy work of that tomato skin. Ooh. Easy. 